Okay, so first of all, uh, basically we are going to see that how switch learns MAC addresses, right? And how many devices that we have and what is the main function inside the MAC address learning format, right? Let me open that. Right. So the topic is which is we are going to discuss. How switch learns MAC address. Right. So basically, uh, see. Suppose that we have a device which is called switch, right? Now, what is the use of this switch? Basically, in the most of the organization we have, uh, we mostly we use this switch, right? Now, we have lots of ports also over there, over on the switch, right? And at the, each port is having the PC's connectivity or the different device connectivity as well, right? So just like that, in this in this scenario, we have one switch over there and we have lots of PCs over there, right? Now, suppose that this PC having, um, basically, this PC having the MAC address of that, suppose that, uh, let me just, this PC is have the MAC address of dot zero zero a b dot one three zero a right now this PC is having the MAC address of a b a c dot zero a b one dot one three zero d right so this is the mac address of that pc right now how how this switch can understand that which mac address is which pc now let me just erase me erase it and let me just make it now we have the we have two types of things over there which is ethernet header and MAC address table, right? We have Ethernet header and we have the MAC address table, right? Now, the main purpose of these things that we have is, let me just explain that. Right, so we have basically uh, three primary functions to learn the MAC addresses over on the switch. Let me just erase this one and let me make it that clear. This is my switch. Now, we have the three primary function we have. What are these three primary functions that we have? First one, which is forward frame. Forward frame. Now, the second one, which is we have learn MAC address. The third one, which is we have, 
avoid loops avoid loops right now these three function is the major function of the one switch which is we are going to talk about right now what is the mean by this forward frame which is we are going to see that which is you can also say that the first function which is for which is uh, this which is going to first of all check it which is ethernet frame right we have also the some kind of uh, function inside that ethernet frame as well now the second one which is we have mac address table mac address table right the third one which is we have examining examining frames right so these three functions that we have now let's talk about this ethernet frame what is this basically first of all so the ethernet frame is the ethernet frame having the content of these things let me just make that we have header over there right now the second one which is we have data and the last one which is we have trailer let me right so the first one which is we have header the second one which is we have data and the last one which is we have trailer so what is the header that we have inside that right this is called ethernet frame so inside this header we have the two content of that which is which is source mac address source mac and the destination mac right now this is all about the ethernet head right and <coughs> means if if any any pc or any device is connected or on that switch so that ethernet header having the information about that that which device is connected on which port so suppose that we have the two devices over there the two pcs over there which is like that and that have that mac address suppose that that having the mac address of 0a and that have the mac address of 0b right and that is connected over on the fast ethernet 0/1 interface and that is connected on the fast ethernet 0/0 interface right so that is a types of interface that uh, we will also talk about it right now the next things that we have the data right so suppose that this pc is uh, is going to send send the, some image file over there right which type of file that it is going to send it image file right now how this image file uh, will send with the help of that switch and uh, that 0b pc is required to this image file right so that is called the data right that is called the data which is we are going to send it okay now the trailer is going to um, going to uh, like explain you about the some external things regarding this data right so suppose that 
after uh, see after uh, adding these kind of things it is going to make the mac address table over there right let me just it is that let me make the mac address table right mac address table so inside this mac address table what uh, what we have we have every information about the mac address and the port as well right means over on the fast ethernet 0/0 that which is we have and over on that port which mac address is lord which is the 0a right so that mac address is learned on that mac uh, that interface which is mentioned over on that port right so that switch basically who is going to make that mac address table this switch is going to mac make the mac address table and that mac address is where this mac address is going to store which is inside the cam table inside the cam memory right you can say the cam memory or the flash memory right so over there these are uh, the every information regarding the mac address is going to store right now this is my one of the one uh, another interface which is we have fast ethernet 0/1 and over on that that interface that we have the mac address is learned which is 0b right so that mac address is learned on that interface so right now this is the mac address table that uh, after adding any any link or uh, any things over on that device over on the switch that switch is going to first of all make or maintain this mac address table so with this with the help of this mac address table it is going to forward or it is going to send the any image file or any file which is uh, which is the sender and the receiver which is sending by the sender and receiving by the receiver side right so now the the main thing is that over there now this pc is going to send the data of the image file right now this switch will get the data over on that interface which is fast ethernet 0/0 right so this switch will look that where it is coming from it is coming from 000a which is that pc and where it connected which is connected on my interface which is fast ethernet 0/0 right now after that it is going to require that uh, where this packet is going to send it this packet is going to send it either on that pc or the another pc right so basically the uh, suppose that this pc having the 0c of the mac address so the every information will be mentioned over there right suppose that this mac address is learned on that interface right now everything will be mentioned or everything is going to store inside this cam mac address table right 000c right so these kind of things is uh, this switch is going to maintain all about this mac address right now this switch will look that uh, okay i have got this message i have got this packet but i have the two path to send over there right so the switch uh, so what is the by default behavior of the switch which is it is going to send that information over on all the ports right whatever the port is have it is going to send it over on that on right so after getting this packet of the message of the image file this pc is also get it and this pc is also get it right now who is going to uh, request for that image file which is suppose that this pc is requested for this image file which is 
uh, which is it required and uh, that PC have that image file, right? So that PC is going to send that image file because of it got the request from the another PC, which is that one, right? So this one is also uh, is also getting that, but this one is uh, basically it is it is received, but it is going to also send the reply because of see the switch. What the switch will do basically it is uh, it is it is it is basically get all over uh, uh, whatever the packet it is getting it. It is going to send that packet over on all the interfaces, right? So the every PC will get that, and every PC will give the reply for that. But the sender PC will take the action of that. That whatever the uh, C, suppose that this one is also going to give the reply, and this one is also going to give the reply, right? Now this PC will receive the reply. This PC will also receive the reply. And that PC is also received the reply, and that PC is also received the reply, which is coming from each and every PCs, right? Now, the all the the last step of that, which is the loop avoid. How this is going to avoid the loop, which is it is going to uh, make it is going to look the MAC address table that which is it required, right? Now. This PC is also know that that where I have to send that image or where I just sent that image, which is over on that address, right? So this PC will receive the reply, which is only coming from that PC only, right? So this PC is only get the reply of the requester PC, which is this one, right? This one is also going to send the reply, but this PC is going to block that, right? Because of this is the not the uh, this PC is not the requester, right? This PC is the requester, right? So this kind of things that uh, the switch can learn MAC address, and the switch will work entire our domain, right? So this is how that switch will work, and uh, the switch will learn MAC addresses. Okay, guys, do you have any doubt regarding that?